Hello, friends. This is Maureen Lee Maloney, and welcome back to My Doc Journey, the show where I reveal every step in my process of creating a feature length documentary, even the steps where I fall down and cry. On today's episode, I'll be discussing what I accomplished this week and what to do if what you really want is to host a reality TV show. And as always, if you have questions or suggestions, please email me at maureen at wildairfilms.com. I also started a Facebook page for the podcast, so you can find it at facebook.com slash mydocjourney. So you can join that, message me there, and if you have a doc project that you're starting, please post it. I know a lot of groups out there are like, no self-promotion. I will not be that way, but I will say this. Remember to like the stuff that other people are posting and don't spam. I don't know why people do that. It doesn't help you. It only makes people hate you. So this is definitely one of those instances where bad attention is just bad attention. Don't do that. Okay, so this week's update. My successes this week were that I created a pitch deck for the film. And if you don't know what a pitch deck is, I will link to it in the show notes so that you can see what it is. But basically, it's it's something that you create to send out to businesses uh, who might want to donate or sponsor to the film. And number two, I have a local restaurant set up to do a fundraiser for the film in October. Yay! So I'm very excited about that. So I will be posting that on the, the Facebook page if you're in Denver in October, uh, then I will be letting you know when the day of that is. Uh, It'll be at Fire on the Mountain, so that's exciting. I love that place. And uh, yeah, more details on that to come. I did have a a fail this week, and this is uh, something I really need to figure out. So my fail this week was emailing someone a second time too early. I've mentioned not getting replies to emails before. This is something that I really struggle with because People always tell stories about how they, you know, just kept emailing someone over and over and over again and months and months went by and they didn't give up. They persisted. And eventually that person got back to them and and, you know, gave them whatever they wanted. But I mean, while sometimes people do forget, how soon should you send another email? I don't know. When I figure out a good answer to this, I'll let you know. But basically, I sent a second email too quickly and they were like, we're busy. We'll get back to you next week. And I was like, "Okay." So I don't know. Maybe it's not as big of a deal as it seems to be in my head. I have some um, some business experts I'm going to reach out to and and ask about this and I'll, I'll get an answer and get back to you on that. If you have an opinion, please feel free to email or message me about what you think the correct answer to this problem is, because I'm sure lots and lots of people are having this problem. So we'll figure it out together. Okay, so on to the whole reality TV host thing. I am by no means an expert in in reality television, but there are two amazing people who are, and they have their own podcast called Producing Unscripted with Joke and Biagio. And Joke and Biagio are their names. They're kind of unusual names, but they're really cool people. So um, I'll link to their podcast and their website in the show notes. But just to give you uh, some ideas, you know, for the most part, that podcast and what they do is not finding hosts for people or teaching people how to become hosts for shows what they do or they come up with just great ideas. And a few things to sum up about what I've learned from them about hosting is really number one, you want to be an expert at something, not just be a show host. So they have a great interview with a guy who was a detective for a long time. And now he's a host of of like a detective show. I'll link to that in the show notes. The other thing is that that they're not just looking a lot of times for a single person. If they're going to make a show about, say, you, they want to have a whole host of people around you that are also interesting. So take the Kardashians, for instance. It's like all the different characters. And admittedly, 
I haven't seen the show, but my understanding is there's all these different characters that are really interesting that people love to watch and watch their interactions and stuff like that. Now, I do think it is worthwhile to consider whether or not you want to get into creating unscripted television. And that's, you know, where this podcast really comes in handy. If you have an idea or multiple ideas They will help you figure out what ideas will work and what ideas won't. And you can actually send your ideas to them and they'll give you feedback. And if they really like your idea, they might actually work with you, which is pretty cool. Now, a side note about ideas, because a lot of people get real uppity about, oh, I don't want to tell anyone my idea because somebody might steal it or this or that. The thing is, ideas are not valuable or unique. I know that you think that nobody has ever come up with this idea that you have. And I want to say, I promise you, someone has. Many people have. Even your lame uncle has probably come up with this same exact idea, right? Loads of people come up with the same idea all the time. Even in science, there's like reports of somebody who came up with an idea in Russia and in South America at the same time, and they weren't connected at all. But this is just sort of how ideas work. They, they sort of pop up into our consciousness. Now, what is unique is your specific take on the idea. Nobody else, no one else, no matter what, can come up with the exact same take on an idea that you can. And what is valuable is what is actually created from the idea. So if you don't create anything, it's not valuable. That's, you know, you haven't done anything valuable if you haven't created anything. Coming up with an idea, again, is not valuable. And even if someone else comes up with the same idea as you, what you create will be totally different from what they create. So stop worrying about someone stealing your idea because it is a non-issue, all right? And if someone has made something similar to what you want to do, if you're kind of thinking about ideas you want to create and you're like, oh, somebody else has done something similar, it doesn't matter. Make your thing because you are going to bring your own spin on something. Don't let that stop you. It's actually a good thing, too, because if people like that other thing, they're going to want to watch similar things. I mean, podcasting is a perfect example. How many true crime series can there be? Anywho, okay, back to producing unscripted. Now, if you want to be a show host, you can create audition tapes and submit them places, but people really rarely get opportunities from stuff like that. Remember, you want to be an expert on something, not just a host. So I'll post links to some of their shows about becoming a host, but I really recommend listening to their whole podcast, even if you've never thought about unscripted television before, because I think there's actually a lot of cool potential there, and you might be inspired to go that route. Now, if what you really want to do is make a show about you, there are other routes you can go down. Specifically, I'm thinking of web series. Now, I'll be honest here, I don't really want to encourage more travel videos because they're often pretty shallow and self-indulgent, frankly. That being said, there's potential for great cultural deep dives if you're willing to do that. Don't act like you know a culture if you've spent a few weeks there, but you can highlight local stories in cool ways. So recently I met a couple who's going to be traveling in a tiny home through Central and South America for a couple of years, and they're planning to spend a lot of time in each place getting to know the people who live there and sharing those intercultural experiences that they have through their videos. I think this sounds like a great idea, and they seem like charismatic people that could really lead a show like that, so I gave them these pointers for how they could accomplish it. Number one, find a videographer who would be willing to travel with them to shoot a few episodes or maybe even just a concept trailer, something that would be like three minutes long and give the idea of the show and show the personality of the people involved. But honestly, I think it would be okay in this case, as long as you're not spending a ton of money, you know, you can probably find maybe even somebody just out of film school who wants to get a little experience under their belt. As long as you cover their travel expenses, then you can get them to shoot and edit a few episodes for you. And then with that, you can start building a following. So the second thing really is you have to learn marketing. You have to build your following. 
This is something I am still working on, as I've mentioned before. As I go along with this, I'll post resources, the things that I learn. Obviously, social media is really helpful for this, but also there's film festivals. So if you create an episode or two or three episodes, you can submit it to film festivals. Go to filmfreeway.com if you don't know how to do this. I'll post a link in the show notes. Filmfreeway.com is a really easy way to upload your project and submit it to tons of different film festivals. And this is, film festivals is kind of a whole episode in and of itself, but there's small ones, there's local ones. Here in Denver, there's one called the Emerging Filmmaker Project at the Bug Theater that happens every month. That's free. And it's a great way to get your stuff out there and meet people and have, you know, you know, start to build your following there. So that's building a following and learning marketing. And then three is creating that pitch deck, which I mentioned earlier that I've created. And then you can start approaching businesses who maybe want to sponsor the web series. And of course, there's always crowdfunding to get a little bit of money to, to help get you started there. Beyond that basic stuff, there is pitching to larger media companies at, to get your web series featured places. That's a whole other beast that I may tackle at some point in the future. There's definitely lots of resources out there, especially with the YouTube Creator Academy or whatever they have on there. Uh, so, you know, look into that stuff if you think that's the route you want to pursue. But that is the basics of creating a reality TV show. Okay, so my recording session got interrupted by construction. Oh, the adventures in audio. And hopefully this doesn't sound too bad because I'm recording it at home instead of the fancy studios at the House of Pod. But I did want to close out the episode today with an inspirational quote because I love inspirational quotes. And this one I like to attribute to the amazing Grace Hopper. And she said, a ship in port is safe but that's not what ships are made for. Sail out to sea and do new things. And I love that because it's like, get off your butt, stop sitting around and being afraid of going out into the world and just do what you want to do. It's also interesting because it's not exactly true. A ship in port is not always safe. I actually used to work on a ship and there was a time when they got news of a tsunami coming, a potential tsunami, and the ship had to be sailed out to sea to prevent damage from being hit up against the docks. And it didn't end up being a huge wave or anything, but there was a, a significant swell that did damage a lot of boats that were in the harbor that day. So it just goes to show you, you never know. There is no guarantee of safety, whatever you're doing. So you might as well go out and live the life that you want to live and have the adventures you want to have. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Let me know if you did. Again, email me at maureen at wildairfilms.com if you have any questions or comments. And have a wonderful week. 